Hi, I'm Brennan Palmiter, Applications Engineer at Capital Robotics. What we're going to be going over in this video is setting up your DC Wave Pulse on the Welby. Setting for DC Wave Pulse, we're going to leave our travel speed at standard. Um, setting our weld method, we're going to go ahead and toggle to DC Wave Pulse. Um, we're going to go to our wire material. For this example, I'm running 4043, so we're going to toggle our switch to soft aluminum. Um, which is going to set our gas to 100% argon. Uh, wire diameter, I'm running 045, so we'll toggle to 045. And for this example, I'm not going to utilize the crater fill, so we're just going to leave that as off. Uh, for this material, I think we're going to be about 100 amps. So I'll use my one knob control to set my amperage at 100 amps. And then for my arc length or my synergic voltage value, I'm going to leave it zero. So I'll go ahead and toggle that to zero. Now with wave pulse, you have one added advantage versus DC pulse, which is our wave frequency where we can set how many times or how many hertz do we want to have for a pulse. So um, for this example, we're going to start with three hertz. All right, so now we've set up our machine and we're ready to run some wave pulse. Check out this example. Okay, so that's our DC wave pulse. So what is DC wave pulse? DC wave pulse is a pulse with an underlining low frequency pulse that allows for three things. One, a stack of dimes type of appearance lower porosity in our welds, as well as a tighter grain structure. Now, that lower frequency can be adjusted by using our wave frequency button. That last weld was at three hertz. Let's dial it down and I'll show you what one and a half hertz looks like. Okay. So the difference between those is going to be a wider stack of dimes on the lower frequency than the higher frequency. For more information, check out our YouTube channel or you can go to www.capitalrobotics.com and get some more information. Thank you.